My name is uh, Tim Crabiel, and we're in the center of the Arts District at 428 South Hewitt Street at the bar and music venue Resident. One of the projects I always talk about that I did work on as a student at SARC was a project for the LA River, interestingly enough, a bridge over the LA River. I was actually in this area working quite a bit on this project and came to kind of know this, these streets and this particular area in the riverbed by 1985. My name is Bridget Vagadis. We both kind of had a connection to the river. I used to roller skate down there a lot when things were renegade. We made a decision to have kind of an interesting, unusual type of wedding. And so we scheduled to have our wedding in the, the river basin there. And the, the river was supposed to be dry, it usually is. But on the day of the wedding, it wasn't. So we actually had to dam the river the day of the wedding. So we were out there with sandbags damming the river. We needed a place to move to quickly because her business was really expanding and we'd already gotten in trouble with the building department for working out of the house. We looked on the west side where we were working at the time and, and it was too expensive and we looked to rent right in this area because we had other artist friends who were renting here and it quickly became obvious that it would be cheaper almost to buy. We bought this building in 2000 and it was kind of too good to be true although it looked really terrible. And part of the reason why we did the trailer on the roof was because we were doing this renovation. We were trying to convert this building to a live work. Instant kitchen, instant bathroom, get me out of here solution. We had this great view on the roof that we knew about already. We said we'll just put it up there temporarily and here it is 17 years later and it's still here. The construction of the building has a couple different parts, which eventually led us to the resident project because um, it became very expensive to complete the apartment part of the project and the neighborhood was changing and a friend of ours came and said, I have this liquor license, why don't we put a bar in here? And I was broke and I said, okay, there you have it. A resident, again, is a bar and music venue. It's a starter room, 200 people or less is considered a starter room. We have a, a, what's becoming a really well, a world-renowned music program here of all different kinds of music and bands that pass through. We've really tried to run a huge demographic, and that was pretty much, that was, it was a priority for us, and that we didn't want it to be a hipster bar, we didn't want it to be a blues bar, we didn't, we wanted it to be something that, we weren't pigeonholed into anything, but we want, we want the hipster crowd, but we want people that are in their 70s to come down. And we get this, which is pretty hard to achieve. Our backgrounds were, are definitely part of what we're doing. We got the building, the place has gone through a constant evolution from a place to have her business to a place where we have our studios. We even for a while had like a little mini trailer park. Every time we do something new here, you know, move the building or grow the space into a new place, it always becomes an extension of who we are and what we do. My studio space was for doing the jewelry business that I had. The more I grew, the less I made, so we made a decision to just step back for a little while. It was a really nice jump to move out of that and then utilize some of the, the skills and the knowledge that I had obtained from doing this, to doing something that was a little wackier, probably much more difficult to market, and that's the direction I'm going in now. So I do these insect type of portraiture that incorporates jewelry, so they have little crowns. I'm always working kind of an odd side project. I'm really into lighting, gardening, I'm working on these kind of interesting uh, shadow boxes. I 
I'm involved with the restoration of classic cars, and I've been doing it since I was a kid. The process of the car restoration is very similar in some ways to the architecture and building process. You have to manage a lot of different people doing creative tasks of construction or fabrication. There's a lot of parts and pieces that have to go together and there's a correct order of events. You have to have a lot of patience. I always felt the two practices were very parallel and similar. One of the interesting things that I tell people all the time is that when I was a student, this area that we're in was a, a place that developers thought was going to be going through gentrification back in the early 90s. Uh, I think our hopes for the Arts District going forward are, I mean, I'm hoping that it continues to be a little bit of a difficult place to build because if, it, if it's too easy, then you're going to build more one Santa Fe's and it's going to be a, an apartment neighborhood. Now that we're kind of moving out of the phase of uh, adaptive reuse of the old buildings that exist here, I'm hoping that the new construction will find us doing all different kinds of building types, not just apartment buildings. You also have to wrap your arms around it. So open a bar, be smart, reinvent yourself. And I'm hoping that this area can continue to bring people that are visionaries to make that work and that aesthetic happen. I think in the next couple of years, we'll know what will be happening in the next 10 years. And it's, it, it can go in several different directions and it's, it's gonna be really fascinating.